We are traveling currently through the Cape Cod Canal. Uh, of course, it's at night, but that's because we have to go with the current, and just before midnight is when the current was in our favor. So that's what we're doing, but it's always a little spooky to do something when it's dark outside, so we have all hands on deck. But not you, Shachi. Cape Cod Rail Bridge, Cape Cod Rail Bridge, Cape Cod Rail Bridge. This is Gotfo, Gotfo, Gotfo. Over. They're not answering. Look at that cute doggy. It has been so rough going through this canal. We had a second tea kettle take a fall from up here. So I think we're going to give up on tea kettles. Look at this asshole in the middle of the night crossing within 20 feet of us. I flashed a light at him, a spotlight, popped the horn, and still has to cut right in front of us. Well, in route to Mystic, Connecticut, we did a quick stop at Newport, Rhode Island to pick up our repaired ASIM. If you recall, we actually beheaded it when our autopilot failed. Goodbye, Bye, Newport, Newport, Rhode Island. Once again, we're leaving in fog. How fun is that? We only have 42 miles on the strip to Mystic. So not too bad, we should be there just after lunch. We have a ton of monohull sailboats heading toward us. Uh, we're on a port tack, so that means they're on a starboard tack and have right away. Uh, but so far, we've been able to stay clear and pretty much hold our course. I wonder if they're headed off to a race, but it makes me very happy to be on a catamaran and sailing flat rather than being heeled over. We absolutely love our sails that were made by Zoom Sails. When we went through the selection process with Balance to pick our sails, we opted to provide our own and it's been a blessing. We got our main jib, ASIM, and Code Zero from them at a much more reasonable price. The main and jib are made of Hydronet, which is a better quality sail cloth, especially for cruisers. Zoom Sails are headquartered in Indonesia. The quality is worth the extra we paid for shipping. This has to be one of the most narrow channels I have ever seen. You see all these sailboats and motorboats all around, but we're trying to stay between this green and red and look at how close they are. It's so narrow. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but it feels like we're squeezing through. We 
arrived at Mystic, Connecticut, we knew we had two bridges and this one only runs uh, 40 after the hour and we missed it by just a few minutes. So rather than trying to hold our position for an hour, we did this crazy maneuver over here, too hard to film as a crew of two, but the wind is pushing us off our dock. So he had to get close enough so I could jump on. Then we had to get both lines out, but we have the lines tied in such a way that we can release them from the boat. So now we're just gonna wait until we get closer and that bridge opens so we can go under it. But yeah, welcome to Mystic, Connecticut. Check out all those RC sailboats. This has got to be the most unusual thing we have ever seen on a mooring ball. Have you ever seen anything like this? Whoa. You're moving up in the world. <laughs> <laughs> earlier, trying to make the dog run to the wall. Earlier, she ran into the wall. And we feel badly for her. But it was pretty funny. We are in beautiful Mystic, Connecticut. Part of the reason we came up to New England was we wanted to escape the heat and humidity that's typical of the mid-Atlantic. Um, but it's a very nice hot day and inside, that's what we're seeing. Of course, it doesn't help that that thermostat's oh, yeah, 100 degrees right in the sun. This is gonna be uh, super hard to see, uh, but there's a paddle boarder out there who looked like he was flagging, he or she was flagging, and noticed it, and then there was a little powerboat that came by on a little skiff, and so she asked them to go over and check it out, and then at the same time, you can see uh, there's like two kayakers and their kayaks going over to help that person as well. Uh, so that's nice, I mean, you know, everybody's doing their own little thing but also kind of keep an eye out for other boaters and, and people on the water. 
Where are you from? Um, well, uh, Annapolis, Maryland is our home port, but we haven't been there since we moved to Port. What is that? What kind of boat? A balance 48 foot catamaran. A balance? that paddle boarder that appeared to be in distress um, the, the other two little rental boats were with him and he just wanted to go for a swim he wasn't in distress it looked to me like he wasn't able to get back on his board um, but hopefully that rental company will also look for the other two um, kayaks that went down the other way because they're gonna have a 14 knot headwind getting back and when you're brand new it's very um, easy to go very far with the wind and feel like you can't get back. Don't push me in. Stop. <laughs> it's not funny. It's cold Connecticut water here. Jellyfish. And jellyfish. Yeah, you should film this part because this is the likely falling spot. Stop pushing at me. <laughs> it's just your butt. I'm gonna hand you this big stick. <laughs> hey, I'm standing next to the boat. Usually I start kneeling. But I don't wanna increase my chances of falling in. Ooh, there's a lot of jellyfish. Don't fall in. Well, in New York City, we actually turned off our, did the run kill switch on our engines. And that's why I wasn't able to start the boat. So this is the trick. If you see this is to stop. And over here it says run. All you have to do is push it and put it to run. And now I can start the engine. So if you want to trigger, you do the kill switch so someone can't start the engine. They'd have to know a little something. You just push on it and it pops automatically from run to stop. I had to go to the hardware store to get a few more screws to finish a project on our lazarettes before we head out of Mystic, Connecticut. And here's where I wanted to get to is true value. And I would, and we're about right here. So I would have had to have gone away, parked at the dinghy dock and then walked all the way there. But there is a little private dock right here. And the funny thing is, so it made the walk super short, um, much closer. And uh, I got to the end of the gate and it was locked. And I thought, oh, and so I'm debating. And there were some guys working um, on landscape. <laughs> and I was debating climbing the fence, but then I was like, that's going to be pretty obvious. And I looked down and because it was locked. And there's a key right there hidden. So I took the key, unlocked from the other side, which I think is the point of the key. You know, went out the gate went to True Value, came back, locked it back up, and came back. <laughs> Woohoo! Sneaky! Just waiting for the Mystic River Bridge to open. Uh, it opens on 40 past the hour, so we have about two more minutes. Fortunately, the winds are light, um, so we're able to hold our position very easily.
Connecticut. See ya. Thanks for the pizza. Ha <laughs> ha!